Hi, today we are going to learn third normal form and BCNF, voice code normal form. A relation R is in 3NF if it is in 2NF and there are no transitive dependency. What is meaning of no transitive dependency? It means if non-prime attributes are at right side, so left side should be a super key. Let's take one example. A relation R, A determines B and B function determines C. So is it this relation is in 2NF? The definition of 2NF is fully functional dependency. A is a key. If we find the key in this relation, A closer, A drive A, A drive B, and B drive C, so A closer has a C. So A can determine A, B, C. So A is a key. A is a prime attribute and B, C are non-prime. C is a non-prime. B is also non-prime. And B is a non-prime. A is a key. So non-prime attribute is fully functional dependent on key. So it is a in 2NF. A determine B, B determine C. It means A can determine C. Here is transitive dependency is there. That's why it is not in 3NF. Now what is Boyer's code normal form? It is extension of 3NF. So our relation should be in 3NF as well as the left side should always be a super key. This is the definition of voice code normal form. It doesn't matter what is in right side. It be prime or non-prime. But left side should be a super key. If we see in the, some shortcuts. In any functional dependency. If right hand side is non-prime. Left hand side should be a super key. This is the rule of 3NF. So if in any functional dependency, all the attributes are prime, it means you will not get any attribute at right hand side. It doesn't matter where left hand side is a super key or not. It will be in 3NF. Now let's take some examples from a gate. That is a prestigious exam in India. This is question number five. Uh, we have to find a key prime attributes and non prime attributes. A B functionally determines C. It's me A for finding key. There is a new rule L plus R and R. R. So which attribute in left side only? A. Left and right both the side B and C. Only right T. So A closer can determine key through reflexivity. A determines A. Now A cannot determine anything else. Now we are going to combine A with B. A B closer. Through the reflexivity it determines A B. And uh, AB determines C, C determine uh, B, and C determine D. It means AB is a key. Now we are going to check AC. AC is through the flexibility, determine AC. And uh, C determine B, C determine D. Now that a, B now can determine C. So, A, C can also determine A, B, C, D. So, A, B and A, C both are key. 
and if a b and a c are key so a b and c will be a prime attributes or non prime would be d so what is the question that find determine the key so a b and a c would be key prime attributes a b c it is part of key non prime d the answer is b part let's check answer this is the exercise problem 1 question number 5 so its answer is let me check the answer it is b so similarly we can find a 3 and f b c and f from uh, any example let's check this example okay this relationship is in, in 